Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You heard it correctly. This is the world's largest foldable e-bike. Guys, this thing is awesome. 1200 watt motor, two batteries. You heard it right. One in the seat, one in the frame. Guys, you're going to get a ton out of this e-bike. Tons of range, tons of power. It's pretty darn incredible, guys, but it may not be for everybody. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Let's get on the road, give it a test ride right now. How about that? It looks good on the road, guys. One thing I didn't mention in the, the intro was that it is a triple suspension. So you're going to have the front suspension, you're going to have a mid suspension, and you're also going to have this huge suspension in the back. So you're going to have really, really smooth ride. It does have 26 inch tires, four inches wide. So it's got a lot of grit, no matter what your terrain is. It has a really comfortable big seat. It also has a back seat built in. And guys, like I mentioned before, it's foldable, which is pretty incredible. Now you've seen some of our other Angway videos that we've done where they fold up really small. This one's not gonna fold up quite as small, obviously, but it does fold. So if you're riding in an RV or you don't have a bike rack that can manage this kind of a hefty bike, you can just fold it up and stick it in there. Now, really quickly before I go over all the features, if you are under five foot, nine inches tall, do not buy this e-bike. Now I have to preface that because I wouldn't be doing you justice if you're 5'7 and you try to ride this. Because guys, not only is it a big e-bike, but I mean it is a tall e-bike. I'm six foot tall and just to put it into perspective, in order for me to get on this bike, I literally either have to step on the pedal first or walk over the frame here like this, get on the pedal and then step up to the seat. guys. I'm six foot tall and I can barely ride this thing. So if you're under 5'9", oh, I would highly encourage you not to purchase this. Look at one of their other models here and I've done a review on the EP2 Pro. That's probably better for you if you are shorter. But if you want a beast, 1200 watt motor, dual batteries. It, literally, you just take this battery and plug it right over here and you have an auxiliary battery. Both batteries are really strong so you're gonna get a ton of range, over 100 miles in this thing, guys. This is an awesome, awesome e-bike, but it's huge. I mean, this thing is an absolute beast. Let me talk about all the little features right now. All right, so first of all, it does have, like I mentioned before, a 1200 peak watt motor. Now it is a thousand sustained, but it is 1200 watts peak. So you're gonna be able to have that little extra torque to get up those hills. Guys, this thing goes 31 miles an hour standard. Now you could unlock it and go even faster if you wanted to, but for it to go standard at 31 miles an hour, 
it has to have special licensing so that went through special testing to be able to do that guys so you know that you are getting a good certified e-bike here it does have a, a derailleur right here it is shimano it also has a protector for your derailleur because it is a foldable e-bike so you want to be able to protect that when you do have it folded as i mentioned before it does have these big fat meaty four inch tires 26 inches around on a foldable e-bike i've never seen that like i mentioned it is the world's largest now it does have a great suspension and when i say suspension it has a triple full suspension i've never had an e-bike that had three i've only had two i've had a front and back but never a mid-drive one right here so you actually have the full suspension here you've got suspension here and then you also have the big suspension dual in the back as well and it is adjustable so you can adjust it a little bit if you want it to be a little bit smoother ride which is i would say a must on certain terrain to adjust your suspension and you can on this e-bike right here now really quickly let's get up here to the front now if you look up here at the front you will see here is your front suspension it has a real headlight so that's nice and again a little bit closer look of the tires one thing i really like about this is it has obviously it has hydraulic disc brakes on a high-end bike like this it's a requirement but it has a really nice nice rims i mean you don't see spokes like this on a traditional e-bike this thing is really cool and they spent a lot of money designing this now when i talk about batteries guys a lot of times you talk you you, you think of range when you think of batteries but there's actually more to it and to have a dual battery so you have your traditional 19 48 volt 19 amp hour battery right here in the frame and then there's a little plug right here which will come out and plug right into here when this runs low and i'll actually show you on the panel what your battery life is so as it goes down you just take it from here plug it in here and then you can head back you're going to get that extra range over 100 miles in this thing which is awesome the seat is very comfortable it is also a suspension seat so you've got a front suspension a mid suspension a rear suspension and a suspension seat which you know is pretty cool but like i mentioned before it is going to be the world's largest foldable e-bike so that means it's going to be heavy this thing's over 100 pounds guys i lifted it up into a vehicle after i folded it down and it was not an easy transition guys it is very very heavy so i wouldn't i wouldn't consider this like a must to have it as a foldable design it's just kind of a bonus i just really quickly wanted to show you the difference between these two so the first one here you see here is the ep2 by angway and then the gray one of course is the x26 and you can see the difference in height so if you are under Five, nine, I definitely would recommend getting this one right here. But if you are a taller person here, over 5'9", I say 5'10 and higher, the X26 is just an absolutely awesome bike. Um, and you can kind of get a look of the suspension there. And I will show you the handlebars and the display once we get in the shade because it is really sunny today. So it's kind of hard to see it. But as you can see the difference in size, I mean, that's it's night and day, guys. Way bigger e-bike. Um, but... Both of these e-bikes are great. And what's cool about Angway is they have so many different e-bikes that you can choose from on their website. And there's a difference in the tire size. So you got the 20 inch tires right here and then you have the 26s right here. You're just gonna get a little bit better traction um, on that. It has a dual suspension up front. Of course the center one, dual in the back. Whereas this one here has only the dual up front and that's it. So you're gonna get a little bit better a little bit of comfort and of course it's nice to have that back seat a little bonus if you want to ride some with somebody else it is a 400 pound limit so anything over 400 pounds like if there's two of you at 200 pounds probably not recommended uh, but it, it can handle 400 no problem yeah it's a nice looking e-bike all right we're going to show you the display really quick here so on your handlebars you have your throttle right which is right here it is a just a push button throttle not a rotational handle one like you see on some e-bikes but it's actually a push button it does have your brakes front and back right here you do have your gear shifter here to shimano and it is an eight speed here you've got your display at top you'll notice a battery indicator right now i'm at 82 percent there's your speedometer and your max speed as you can see i got 58.7 kilometers per hour on this e-bike already when i was testing it you do have different modes here so you can go one which is sport sport two sport three sport four sport five and so forth now there are other modes too like eco mode but i like to be in sport because i want to go as fast as i can so that's the display here you do have two sets of keys you do have two batteries so you do have the front and you do have the back battery the back battery is your standard one your front one is inside of the main frame as I mentioned, the one battery is right here inside of the frame, and then the other one is in the seat push post right here. There is a button right here. Now, that's the power 
button. You do need to press that button in order to have control of your e-bike in power mode, not just straight pedal mode. So you do have to press that little button right there. Don't forget about that. A lot of people do, and then they want to return their bike because they say it doesn't work. That is extremely important. Without that, the panel won't even turn on. It is a full color display panel, as you can see right here. So it's very nice and very bright. You can see it pretty good in the sunlight. I'm here right under a tree, so you can just see it a little bit better on camera. So it never really turns out that good on camera, but it's a great display, guys. And it is a fantastic e-bike. The only issue I have with this e-bike, honestly, is just for those that are shorter that just can't fit on it because the, the seat, I mean, it's just it's pretty high and you can't go any higher than that or any lower than that. So. Uh, that's the only downside I have about this, but triple suspension, dual batteries, 1200 peak uh, motor. I mean, that's crazy. You're going to get a thousand watt sustained, which is awesome. And it's a good looking bike too, back seat and all. Thanks again, everybody, for watching our videos. If you like content like this, you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.